There certainly is a lot to see at the Lancaster Quilt Show, and if you're looking for that one piece of fabric that you'd like to use to start a quilt, there are all kinds of colors and patterns available. We're in the Doubletree Willow Street, where the show is back after taking a few years off because of the pandemic, and because of that, there are a lot of people coming to the show uh, to meet with the vendors and see what new things they can pick up this time around. Uh, Cindy Turnbaugh is with us to talk about some of the offerings for people today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Yes. Well, we have our free raffle. All of our vendors donated $30 a piece of merchandise to fill our raffle baskets up. It's free. You don't have to pay to register. We're going to have the drawing on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Don't have to be present to win. Uh, to pick up your prize. We'll mail it to you. Uh, we're also giving away free little kits. The first 30 kids who come in on Saturday has enough fabric in here to make a nine patch. Stencil, pencil, needle, everything that they need, they can pick it up at the raffle table. And that's important because Absolutely. you'd like to get more kids and younger people involved. In Absolutely, quilting. yes. So they can make a little pillow if they'd like to. Okay. <laughs> and you know, some people may have picked up quilting during the pandemic. Yeah. So this is a good way to get some more gear. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes, um, the people have been armchair quilters for the last two years, so now they're getting to come out after two years to come and touch the fabric, look at the new products that have been created, very tactile industry, and they're very excited to be here, see what's new, pick up extra merchandise. They've run out of fabric by now, most likely. I'm sure. A <laughs> lot of quilting being done here in homes all across the Susquehanna Valley. Again, the Lancaster Quilt Show is today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Saturday masks are required. We're in Willow Street. I'm Matt Barcaro, WGAL News 8.